Let's start the hour in South Africa. The death toll in a train crash in the Free State province has risen to at least 14. Over 100 passengers and the first two coaches were wounded in the incident. The collision occurred in the city of Kronstadt. The passenger carriage was on its way to Johannesburg when it derailed and crashed into a truck before bursting into flames. Local media reports that the truck failed to stop at the crossing. The driver of the truck then tried to flee but was arrested by police. As a result of the truck that was driving through a level crossing, carrying almost two trailers or two carriages. And you can see for yourself that the truck driver was taking chances. He thought that he was going to pass through. Little did he know that the, the train was going to hit him. That has costed lots of lives. Well, indeed, a tragedy there, tragic accident in South Africa. Let's get you more details from CGTN's Angelo Coppola. He joins me now from Johannesburg. Uh, Angelo, has there been any updates as far as the casualty figures are concerned from that crash? Lindy, we understand that there were some 429 passengers on board at the time of the crash, and we can confirm that 254 people were injured. Of the injured, all of them were taken to nearby hospitals and clinics. Um, we don't have the details of the type of injuries that those 250 people suffered. But sadly, we can now confirm a new death toll, and that's of 18 people. That's according to the rail operator's CEO. According to early reports, the people appear to have burned to death when they were trapped in the carriages. Uh, the truck driver, as you heard, and the train driver have escaped without, with minor injuries. As it stands right now, the wreckage hasn't been lifted yet, and there are serious concerns that there may be more bodies or people trapped in and under those carriages. Those carriages are set to be lifted shortly. Authorities do say that the line is going to remain closed for the next 36 hours. That's to give the teams time to complete their investigations and for the rail operator to repair the line. Lindy? And as those investigations uh, get underway, is there any more clarity on the circumstances that led to the crash? Well, as you heard, the train hit the second trailer that was being towed across that rail or that level crossing uh, by that truck. The rail service CEO says that the truck driver appears to have attempted to beat the train to the crossing, and the truck made it across, but that second trailer didn't and was dragged for some 400 meters or so, which caused the accident and the derailment. It's unclear whether there were any operational warning booms at the crossing, but we do know that seven of those coaches were derailed, including the power car, which generates the power for the rest of the train. That power car caught a light, which then spread to the next carriage. And we're now getting reports, just as an aside, of a derailment of an, on the ore line in the Northern Cape. No injuries reported there, but 95 empty wagons have been derailed and are lying on their side. So not a good day for rail in South Africa, Lindy. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for that update to Angela Coppola there in Johannesburg. And, of course, just updating that death toll, saying it's now 18 people that have died in that tragic uh, train crash.